Hello and welcome. So in today's video we are going to install CentOS 7. If you want to download you can go to centos.org slash download and get the appropriate flavor of your uh, up hardware. I have an AMD machine. I'm going to go with x86 and from okay it's taking time. Go to any of the mirror get this one 2009 ISO 44 GB I have already downloaded it because one of the previous video you have seen so over here we're gonna start with the, the new one we're gonna name it sent OS 7 uh, this is not where I want it so let's go and change that all right, so I've gone ahead. I have a, a hard drive as uh, an SSD that is only for virtual machines. I have uh, selected the ISO in there. So let's go and uh, this is the guided mode. Uh, if you click on expert mode, you can go through all in within the same screen. Mine is uh, like a wizard. This is for unintended installation, so it has nothing to do with your actual uh, username password of your uh, sent to us. This is just for virtual box uh, over here base memory i'm gonna give it a gb i'm gonna give it four virtual cpus let's go uh, virtual hard drive is 20 gb um, actually let's give it 50. i don't have an uh, existing one and i don't want pre-allocate full size i don't want it to uh, take the full 50 GB right now I want it to take as it grows so I'm not checking this box over here is just a summary what you have let's click finish and install it uh, before we go uh, hardware uh, no not new settings and display I want to give it the full 128 MB that is one uh, change I'm gonna make. Let's start it now. Powering up, and there I have it. So it says DVD, where uh, uh, apparently it did not mounted it, and I lost my screen for a second there. I'm gonna. Uh, press I on my keyboard selected this OS 7 press enter and it should start if I'm trying not to click in there because if I click in the virtual machine it captures the mouse and then to exit out of the mouse you have to uh, right click and control so you can see my mouse pointer is not being and that's the that's the pointer of the uh, sent OS itself and this is my host machine pointer but as soon as I click inside I get this message and now my pointer can't escape the virtual machine boundary all right continue uh, you can by right, right clicking and that uh, right clicking and control on your keyboard I'm gonna select the time zone that is correct it is 849 the date is correct uh, installation source we already gave it I'm gonna software selection manual minimum installation so probably this is what happened in the other video where when I talked my son install maybe he forgot to change it so I'm gonna make it server with GUI and done I'll actually go back uh, Ah, nice. So, uh, is there anything else with server networking? So here you can uh, select all the add-ons if you want to. I am not like you can convert it to DNS, FTP, email, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like this. So installation destination is very important. Uh, click this. This is check mark. I would like to make additional space available. We click done. Click the free space, reclaim, even though there is nothing, I believe. Oh, full 50 GB. It's just like a 
uh, space we give it uh, everything destination this time we're gonna click on configure partition done and I, I wanted to show you this so this is going to be your boot drive 1 GB this is your root forward slash and then this is a swap uh, using you can see about 5 GB it's a uh, uh, swap is exactly the same in Windows what you have page file so uh, if uh, OS detects that you are taking all of the memory RAM physical RAM it start uh, unloading uh, frequently accessed uh, data into your swap I'm gonna click accept changes you can see it's STA1 and minimum installation is gone uh, network host everything looks good keyboard is good network and host name very important the other one the other thing that I thought that um, I sent it wrong it's actually in the installation so uh, this part it, you can configure it manually like if it's a server or if it's something that you want to have it a manual uh, IP you go configure click on IPv4 setting and then you give it the the address oh no sorry you first you have to make it manual here and then you add it but since i don't care what ip address it gets i'm gonna just turn it on and as soon as i turn the port on you can see it got its ip address so that ip address is good enough for me begin installation we can while it's installing you can see creating and all that we can give it a good root password it's telling me it's strong so For the root user, I'm gonna make mine. Uh, uh, make I'm, I'm gonna make this user an admin because I have a feeling that I'll be using this virtual machine a lot for different things. Because my. There's a, there was a course technical communication in my class um, it just got in my program it just got changed to Linux essentials and I'm like hey uh, I know that uh, Linux is, uh, Linux plus Linux essential Alpic uh, red RHEL any everything uses the Red Hat flavor of CentOS this one that is a community edition of uh, unofficially the Red Hat so I was like why not just uh, use it for everything I'm gonna since it's uh, just installation uh, I'm gonna pause the video here and I will resume once it's done and I can get my mouse cursor back so right click and control oh wow it's not working can I right control no oh come on I guess I can't uh, I don't know oh it is not right click it's the right control on the physical uh, keyboard all right so you can see it's saying reboot uh, it's done it was good a few minutes let's reboot it now and hopefully I will have my GUI uh, VirtualBox 7 actually I thought it was 6.1 so less where is my cursor coming in I have seven nice maybe it are automatically updated I don't know and there you have it I have my initial setup license information I'm gonna just go and accept it uh, it's a GPL v2 done network and host name we, we see it's wired and connected it has the same IP address done since it's a visual machine that's why
it's saying uh, void and I have my GUI so I can give it the password and I'm logged in it is English we said capture marhaba typing uh, English is selected location services we can use the same I'm gonna skip this start using CentOS Linux and I have the Linux I'm gonna getting started videos let's close them this again is too big for my taste go to your home directory hamburger menu minus it and that affects the uh, windows as well so here I learned something new that we're gonna try to make it more uh, bearable so let me show you all right so you can see software updates available what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the terminal if I can find it so keyboard is not working I thought it will system tools terminal right there so we, what we're gonna do is sudo yum update I hope I am doing it right yes for the man I have to be on top of my passwords all right so it's updating So the option that I found is actually I hate this one you can't uh, release your mouse insert guest edition CD image so that's what we want to install apparently it's uh, basically it's streamlines your processes between your host machine to your virtual machine back and forth uh, in Proxmox I'm having issues because it's Tiger VNC or uh, no VNC I believe yeah so what's happening is I cannot copy paste anything from my host into that I have to either SSH or use the remote desktop uh, it's good and bad both uh, so uh, overall I like Proxmox and VNC all right so it's just taking its time let's pause the video here all right, so that installation is done. Again, capture, I hate, I'm starting to hate it. Probably will go back to Proxmox. Uh, I'm gonna sudo reboot. Can I just reboot it? Let's just see. Let's keep asking me for the sudo password. Uh, one thing I liked about Ubuntu was once, uh, if you have given it a uh, password once, for that session in the window it will it won't ask again uh, it is a security risk as well but uh, I believe I was really logged in as you root so that's why all right so let's back in last login showing me alright so for we still cannot run this come on uh, div, no let's X so this we still can't run it we have to again go back into our terminal utilities no system tools terminal and we have to run these two commands if I can get my cursor back sudo yum group install and the other one so this is what we're going to do, sudo yum group install y and this reminding me of the time when I played with uh, chef and puppet that time I had to install a bunch of, bunch of stuff just like this uh, like I had to type all the all those commands and one by one to install all those programs they were all devel programs all right so I'm, it's 33 percent showing right here 
the very last line i'm gonna pause the video here let's get my cursor one thing i want to say if this is my my internet speed for this machine i'm very disappointed but i am uh, i just like to think that it's the remote server all right so it says completed i'm gonna do the next one so do you install why can or develop let's do that it's saying capture sudo yum install y kernel devil so this 18 mb got done pretty quickly so um, i'm glad it's not my uh, like I haven't accidentally used the wrong NIC for this right here. You can see wired connection, we can go to wired settings, and it's 1000 MB. If I can go further dig in, if there is any details, I don't see any link speed is 1000 MB. So let's cancel it, close it, and I have my complete here. And now we are ready to insert the guest edition CD. Okay. And we can see run, run. It's asking for the password. Give it the password. I'm gonna pause the video release the mouse all right so that got done it just said to press enter and did and now you can see it's full screen so I did not have to reboot or anything so this is good enough I'm gonna just uh, eject this one so there it is my CentOS uh, and you can see I, I can get uh, let me try it let me see if I can lower yeah all right so you can see now I can exit in and out of my virtual machine uh, without the needing to release my cursor so I can right click here right click here let me try to notepad uh, type in ASDF that is my you can see copy I go in here let's see if I can documentation no nope. text editor let's see text editor and can I paste it no still can copy paste copy and nope it did not work so that I need to figure out maybe a reboot is in order let's let me reboot so I can't still can't but I saw this upgrade so installing image so hopefully i will be what i tried was there is a copy uh this file ibm.txt you see the red uh, circle it means i can't i release it and it's not copying from my virtual host so it means copy paste overall is not working while it's updating the image i'm going to pause the video so this is an interesting thing it says automatic update of guest edition has failed files were installed but kernel module were not reloaded automatically please consider rebooting the guest it's been 100 percent i can close this we can see software intended to be automatically started would you like to run it i'm gonna run it give it the password once it's installed i'm gonna reboot the machine and then we're gonna uh, do our test again removing installed version so apparently that what why I'm gonna pause the video here all right so just like before it says press return uh, that's mean enter I press enter so what I'm gonna do is let's not you let's restart it
so a quick test we could be this I still can't I don't know what's going on upgrade guest edition all right it will have to wait another day I'm gonna just one last time yep no paste um, let's uh, I will figure it out later on um, hopefully the installation part was beneficial to you if it is please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one